are starting hello friends today we are with our special guest she is doing research from pondicherry university in high energy physics and she will tell you the topics uh, present scenario of research in this topic and she will share some experiences hope you will understand and it will be fruitful for you so the first question which i like to uh, ask to my didi uh, her name is manali de uh, i'm sorry that i just forget to mention her name okay so they are you comfortable yes okay okay so the first question i want to ask you why you have chose a phd not anything else why have you chosen that i was interested in doing research you can say that is my answer in that i mean from the childhood just you you were focused for research i mean you don't think about any other field or just See. after some time See, i would say one thing mm -hmm. i like to know things it's not that i have to do research at one point or time okay. but i saw while i'm studying mm -hmm. that uh, if i want to know further and further mm -hmm. research is a way i can pursue it's not absolute or anything yes yes that is the theory which is uh, yes the theory which is continuing today may be obsolete at some other yes, at the time yes, or yes yeah it's all about learning and the journey of learning how much you can enjoy it yes that is one thing okay. and the other question i want to ask you that you are doing research in high energy physics so can you share some yes. uh, i mean research experiences or the topics uh, which uh, the high energy people really focused of the what are the important uh, area of research now in this high energy field and you were doing it theoretically so what are the things that you are doing i mean in theoretical research okay first i will start that mm -hmm. see this theoretical high energy physics is mm -hmm. a it's a too vast field for any person to say what a, are all the current topics first i will tell what i am doing and i should warn people that it's not very current topic or very much trending topic what i am working on what i am working on is how the quantum field theory or general theory of relativity can be modified now you can ask me what is the need for this modification yes. the yes. thing is this quantum the prediction of quantum mechanics and general theory of relativity does not match these two mm -hmm. theories uh, so people are in search of quantum gravity but the main issue in this regard that most of the experiments of quantum gravity are not possible to perform not mm -hmm. now or not in near future so mostly people approach it theoretically now theoretical mm -hmm. approach does not give you a picture of truth no because yes. it's not experimentally verified or anything mm -hmm. but out of a number of theoretical approaches you may get a theory which will be directly or indirectly experimentally verifiable mm -hmm. so what i am doing i am checking the effect of non commutation of space time coordinate generally in quantum mechanics we know energy and momentum position and energy, energy and time, and time. Mm -hmm. energy and time and position and momentum these mm -hmm. things are complementary so this mm -hmm. uh, shows non commutation yes. now i am asking instead of position and momentum mm -hmm. if two space time coordinate that is two coordinates of measuring position itself are not commuting mathematically what would be the effect in gtl or Q qft how the mod uh, how the equations curvature equations and all in gtl curvature equation uh, energy ca calculation etc would change in gtl if two space time coordinate or rather two position measuring coordinate are not mathematically commuting okay. so that is my question okay. and another some other area which i know of are currently trending in this field one is the relation between high energy 
physics and condensed matter physics okay uh, means uh, yes very much so in the sense mm -hmm. that high temperature superconductor okay this the newest research in high energy, high temperature superconductor uses a lot of techniques used in string theory okay or um, or gtr if you are doing uh, high what should i say i am not very much coherent here but if you are studying gravitational effects or if you are studying string theory or quantum gravity many mm. of the mathematical techniques of quantum gravity are being used in different areas of condensed matter physics uh, generally in many body quantum mechanics mm. theory uh, or in searching for high temperature superconductor another thing is quantum in the link of uh, quantum gravity and mm. quantum information okay. that is quantum computing yes. uh, quantum entanglement which is another aspect which is being researched in Trendy. either quantum information theory or condensed matter mm. there, there is a direct link between quantum entanglement mm. and certain aspects of a black holes behavior mm. in string theory uh, so this is also this these are two areas i am not researching on them but if you are asking me about current trends yes. these are i feel that these are two very interesting areas that people can search oh wow and it uh, i mean sounds so fascinating also yeah it yes. is good i have not studied much or anything just okay. i saw yeah. okay then thank you so much now okay. can, would you like to share some experiences or would you would you like to give some instructions to the bsc uh, or graduate or post graduate students how they can pursue research as their career or to do their post uh, i mean phd post doc uh, can you share uh, some experiences of yours also and what do you think that uh, it should be done or it shouldn't be done to the, for the students i mean for their benefits uh one thing is this first my experience i will say something mm -hmm. uh research is very conducted in a very different way than suppose in graduation or masters the way we do our academic things are not very different from the way we have done it in school mm -hmm. yes the yes. tape is different but the process it's done there are regular examination there are regular evaluation there is a there is a certain syllabus to be followed and you get feedback at certain times that yeah. i am doing this this is <laughs> ended <laughs> but in research the main thing we i think you very well know you are also laughing i'm also laughing at this point the thing is there is no syllabus we find uh, whenever we are trying to do anything we find that we are we don't know where it is going or where it is exactly so it is na the thing is it's not to be frightened of but i yes. sometimes think either from institutions or from the professors who are guiding us i sometimes feel we need a better grounding when we are joining not before that because before that even when we are preparing for net jre for anything it's not preparation for research it's exactly set, it's a set preparation there is a syllabus there is everything but yes. i feel our professors should prepare us for this mental shift a bit more thoroughly either professors or institutions um, mm. because before joining and starting it's not possible for anybody to do this shift on exactly. their own at home it's not mm. possible yes yes another thing that's why it feels so challenging not not because it's very hard mm. it is hard but it is that's a different thing but we take almost more than a year to get accustomed to the way things are done i feel mm. sometimes it's like that so i don't know if this time can be shortened either by educational intervention or by something 
then a lot of time waste can be <laughs> managed yes can be managed exactly okay di thank you so much okay. for your valuable experiences and hopefully our students our followers will find it helpful thank you okay beri jaachi <laughs>